blast off. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and you know, this music is kind of scaring me. That's where we start. Then why didn't you? Hello everybody, Smiling Sun Kick here, along with Nelly. Trying to teach him how we intro. Intro! Madoskas! Dooskies, dooskies, dad! Welcome back to Let's Play, you don't know Jack. Today's and if we thought it was Sun Cancer, thought it was Sun Cake, don't know Jack. Long Harry's one leg at a time, Pantorium. Pantorium. Pants. Remember pants. One leg at a time. time. One leg, so like one a pig, leg, leg. like a pirate. Okay, then why wait any no, they have one arm. Pirates have one leg. Oh, I guess they got a leg. <laughs> they have a to get things started. Coffee is dead well, to I've me. won one, which is far more than in the pre-tape. comes out with a new yeah. coffee creamer called Cream Mate. If it only dissolves cream at mate. the minimum human body cremation temperature, how hot would oh, your coffee God. have to be? 800 wow, degrees Fahrenheit, know. 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, 2000 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, or 2600 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Well, uh, let it die down a bit. Wow. Got our head banging ones and twos there. I'll take a what? guess. Players one and two. Oh my god, always. Bodies are burned between it seemed moderate, but not too high. You know, we should have guessed earlier. If the temperature right. drops well, below 1400, you might end up with a thumb in your what decorative you? urn. And well, with coffee that hot, good job. The of the McDonald's cup <laughs> good job. We game. always win. It's like the last this, minute guess. Mm -hmm. degree burns. Weirdo. Your left foot! And on its way... Ryan See, I was never bad at this Soulja part of the show, Boy. it's just Jack Attack. The best rappers had such well, a now that you're okay with Jack Attack, that their songs doesn't sabotage the, work the rest of, the romantic of my show. Era poets. And then there's Soulja oh, Boy, yeah. tell him. Suppose Soulja Boy wanted to bust some rhymes with a rap adaptation of hey. the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. For the music what? video, what would be an Maybe appropriate choice matter. of bling? <laughs> Platinum pelican ring, whale-shaped diamond earrings, I a don't know, that spells like... shark attack, or a chain with an I iced no out idea. albatross. <laughs> I'm gonna sit this one out. No. Sitting it out. Nope. Player yeah. one, you've been screwed. You got <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna be a little comeback, you get screwed. Praise to Jesus. That's all dancing. That was my guess. So. <laughs> Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Player two, dude. Player two. Pelican, more like Pelican. Oh, Just high like five her. myself. Come back. Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. In oh, Samuel I... Taylor Coleridge's poem, the yeah, man that was my third guess. Ross and then is punished by having to wear it around his neck. <laughs> and we're back. If he ever makes a tutorial video know why, on how to do the whatever. dance steps, yeah, I'd be really curious to see how one goes about crossing that Rousing trip into the studio. It was a great conversation. Like, she never says anything. She's hanging clothes up, and it's 10 19. And it's kind of cold the tonight, Olive too. Garden slogan, when you're here, your family, we're huh, literally maybe the Olive Garden should make fucking Italian food that's actually Italian. Which dining duo would suddenly share the same genetic makeup? Uh, Bob Dylan like passing that. breadsticks to Jacob Dylan, John Voight laughing with Angelina Jolie, Ed Harris cutting chicken parm for Neil Patrick Harris, or Charlie Sheen sharing lasagna with Emilio Estevez. Uh. I got it down to two of them. Yeah, celebrity families. Oh, you're not gonna guess it all, Oh, fuck! I wasn't keeping track of the time. Patrick Harris. All right. They should change I knew it was either that or the when Bob Dylan. Here, it's because you couldn't make yeah, John Boyd's Angelina Jolie's dad restaurant. and Emilio Estevez is Charlie King's dad. Did not know. Charlie's real name is Charlie Estevez. And now, I'll pop a Capulet in your ass. Did not know. Remember when Juliet said, Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Well, which of these song titles <laughs> correctly uses the word it. wherefore? Wherefore is the frequency, Kenneth? Wherefore let the dogs out? Wherefore do fools fall Wait, in love? What? Or wherefore everybody knows your name? <laughs> Player one. Could be worse, you know, in theory. What? Player two, you just stepped in a big steaming wrong answer. <laughs> I just played. Well. What is that confounded right answer? The word wherefore, believe it or not, means why. What? Uh, we're back. I cry myself to <laughs> Again, sleep gotta make night. five thousand fucking cuts. Wherefore means why? Why would you say wherefore art thou? 
Why are you though, Blurmia? Wait for Altar Blurmia. Type of rash of success. And it's a disregard. Yeah, I gotta do it as usual. No, we've split them. You did one. Looks like you've got some of catching the, up to do. Uh, uh, five, uh, five on recording. I'm gonna read off seven words or expressions. No, I did two. And for each one, I want you to tell me the last bits. one. Written oh. on an inspirational oh, yeah, poster. I was losing sold until Jack is back. Yeah. You know those posters that have a picture of a mountain. No, you're winning that. Jack is written Jack, teamwork. Nope. Those posters. I was down by two thousand. A brand of adult diapers. And then I won by 2,000. <laughs> an inspirational I know my adult diaper brands when the price is right. Oh my gosh. If it's an adult diaper, and it's press like your circle button. I understand no need for instructions. Great. Depends. Opportunity. Dignity. Certainty. Damn it. Boys. Confidence. Tranquility. Damn Perseverance! Damn it, I should have been clicking diapers. Not I would have stole those too. Like you made it through the you said you knew your diapers. Yeah, you're just but waiting no for depends. Turds. Kinda. <laughs> depends is my. It's my favorite. Looking around old lady has super her absorbent. Super absorbent for your old lady poo. If you've got diarrhea so and it squirts out a little bit, it depends. So it's and it make your mm. Why do we just give depends? It's depends. <laughs> <laughs> brought to you by Depends. You can shit your pants. Oh, we maybe we'll get it. One leg, you think? What? The lights are Oh no, it is. Oh no, we're fine. Six is a robot. This one's known as. I said help, not kelp. Ha! Ah. Who could really use a hand? Luke Skywalker, Lord Voldemort, Bazooka Joe, or Captain Ahab? Player one. If you remember, Luke lost his hand in episode five when his dad cut it off with his big flashlight sword thingy. So he could really use a hand. Oh, uh, I thought. Sure, Luke yes! Got a you didn't know that? Never felt I thought right. fucking. I haven't seen really the old ones. I on thought Darth Vader it. had a fake hand. Player two? No, Captain Ahab could yeah, use but Luke did too. Uh, you know what else he could use? Oh! <gasps> really? Oh my god, I forgot about that! Really? Remember, and we said a pirate? We totally called that. This wrong answer of the game. Okay. That was all luck. I got a prize. I got a prize. Hey, no. that was another good man. Sun Cake is furious. That's so dumb. That's the second time I've done that. One Don on record. If Muppet Dog Rolf is rolling, I know the damn answer. I knew I was ahead of me. Beg or play the piano. I knew. What are you into? Do you know what raffle means? Fucking frazzled! God damn it! <laughs> Stupid! No! <laughs> and when it said your answer was right first, but didn't say mine was wrong, I knew it was the bonus. Cause I remembered that we said pirate. Oh, goody, you knew it after you clicked it, impulsively. Here's what I like to call... Old Derriere. No, I just thought Captain Ahab had a hook for an hour. It's impossible to drink a gallon of milk in an hour. I say, phooey. That's why I've recruited stagehand old man to put this one to the test. Now, old man, you've been drinking that gallon for about 59 minutes, am I right? That's right, cookie. I'm almost there. What the fuck? I can almost taste the victory. <laughs> What's going on? It's kind of like milk. You can do it. I got a buck riding on this, so don't screw it up. Now, old man oh, says he can almost taste dick. the victory. If his attempt at finishing a gallon of milk in an hour results in a Pyrrhic victory, what will happen? I He'll finish know. the gallon, then finish another gallon. He'll finish the gallon, but will be violently ill for weeks. He will stop just short of finishing the gallon, <laughs> or no one will ever know if he did or didn't finish the gallon. Um. Rock out. Player one. Ooh, you ouch. should have screwed me. Player two. Is this the right answer, old man? I'll never tell. <laughs> oh, Are you wow. thinking of this one? Yeah, we'll finish the uh, gallon, but a Pyrrhic victory is a victory that gained at a great another? cost. In this case, I've heard of that before. Of I've heard of yeah, no. <laughs> well, well, it's a good thing I'm wearing my nappies. 
springs can hold anything. Oh, <laughs> we were just talking about the pens. I wonder if we're gonna have a fun question for Yeah, be nine. No. I'm gonna shit Open your pants. Ah, cereal! <laughs> Which of these breakfast cereal mascots would give Jonathan Harker nightmares? Who's Jonathan you Harker? Who's Jonathan Harker? Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck the you, school, no. You no. Two, five, ah, seconds, the bear! Mmm, barely missed it. Ha! Player Fuck one, you. that was a successful I don't know who Harker is. Don't stop there, get some more cash. Uh, I have a second guess. Player one. That's Parker what, is a character from Bram Stoker's novel. All right. And well, Kelly rabbit or a toucan? <laughs> loving vampire. Let me guess. That was your second I choice. Yeah, it actually was. Dracula in it. Yeah, I so thought Dracula toucan or rabbit. No. When suddenly I had to give a big ah. important speech in front of an audience. Oh. I got you. <laughs> oh, my favorite. <laughs> I call this one Suck of the Irish. <laughs> Which Suck famous Irish. movie kiss best replicates the experience of kissing the Blarney Stone? The Lady in the uh, Tramp kiss, the Brokeback Mountain kiss, the Ghost kiss, the or Blarney the Spider Man Stone. kiss? It's really familiar. You know, we should actually listen to him when he tells us why we're wrong. No, I know what the Blarney Stone is. I just don't get why these would be the answer. <laughs> Players in one Ireland, two. you kiss the big rock. They'll be haunted by Patrick Swayze for the rest of your lives. <laughs> wow, Spider-Man's upside down. This. The classic Spider-Man kiss involved Spider-Man hanging upside down and kissing MJ. And in order to kiss the famous Blarney Stone in Ireland, you have to hang upside down. Really? really? Look how shitty it's that is. It's very similar. See, in one scenario, Tobey Maguire kisses a dripping wet Kirsten I mean, I knew what the Blarney and Stone was. And in the other scenario, oh, God, you have a good upside lead. down Fuck. by an elderly Irish man, so you can bring well, your mouth into contact you with seven centuries of bacteria. <laughs> Cause I'm up at like 7,000, which is the perfect fork to the brain. Uh, we'll see. Yourself. I'm sorry, was I talking too much? Yeah. Fine, here's your I liked clue. the movie you one. Seven what? I'll show you my seven if you show me yours. Good luck. So Snow White, you click dwarfs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Oh god. I'm pulling a you. Yeah! God damn it, I lose. <laughs> Game over. I panic like you. I already said sides. Uh, thanks for getting that. Yeah, what the fuck? Why are you even doing that? Yeah. <laughs> Searching my brain for that word was just. Whatever, I got like three wrong. Oh, oh no, there he is. You won! Shut up, you won already, fuck you. Harry Potter books. Seven Chaos Enemies. Oh, maybe it was Chopper. There's Sonic, I'll know it. Wasted Oasis. What are we doing? I don't know this. Why did I panic? Because Who's Kurt Squasker? <laughs> I don't know. Kurt Squasker! I don't know. Wow, we're bad. Gotcha. Fuck you, you didn't even know. I did know, okay. Oh, game over. I just don't want to ruin my thing. Seven Oscars? Yeah, right. That's the only thing that sounded yoga y. It's a chakra. I don't know, Indian. So I think you won for sure. Woo! Player one with the win! Oh my mm. god. Player one, you know, mm. dozens of people come through here and hey, Nelly. Hey, Nelly. wins at this game. Hey, Nelly. But none of them Shut did up, it like huh? you. They impressed me. And they're all here to say. You don't know Jack! <laughs> That's number two, That's bitches. What's going on, I still have... All right. I just need to get warmed up. Y'all just didn't believe that I could do good. Nah. Why did I panic? panic? Yeah, you show. pulled a me. 8,000 more, shelves. I still would have lost, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, but... 
You wouldn't have got him. So who knows? Who knows? I don't! Oh yeah, and I got the prize. Boop, boop, got the prize. What? Yeah, you stupid cheater. You sh I got the prize. Yeah, you had 8,000 plus another 2,000 for like a wrong answer. So that was about 10,000 that you should have Oh, don't. You're talking like a Nelly scoreboard. <laughs> Whatever. I got you, bitch. Uh, okay. Today is wrong answer of the game. Ooh, okay, let's see. But I said pirate, so all your blood vampire. Call it vampire. Any thickness, any gender. Vampire. Vampire blood. Oh yeah, blood. It says blood right there. It could be blood. Real good clue. Okay, fuck you. It could be hot. Let's start with. I you Can't we all just get along, John? Huh. What do donut rivals Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme have in common? Onomatopoeia, alliteration, oh, assonance, fuck? or illusion? Players one and two? Yep. Alliteration that means is the, the same word. Dunkin' Donuts, Krispy Kreme. Okay. Wow, thank senior, you, Senior English. Senior English would be so that. proud of us. Uh, right. Yeah, I graduated four years ago from high so school, and see, I remember. So I ain't all. doing a you know liquor reading when I'm at morning, I'm gonna eat a Dunkin' Donut and a Krispy Kreme at the same time and poop them out later in one unified group of compassion and understanding. Yodele! No yawning. Up next, I didn't yawn. Space, I it. the final no, front ear. Weird. If Star Trek's Mr. Mm -hmm. Spock decides to have his ears vulcanized, I what will be true about, about them? His ears will be rounder, his ears will be stronger, yeah. his ears will vulcanized be larger, like or his volcano. ears will hear yeah. better. <laughs> Why'd I tell you? Clay! <laughs> Player two? You know what they say about big ears. It's the wrong answer. Huh? Player one. Vulcanization is the process where oh, water is converted to stronger, more durable materials. Oh, I so learned that in my geology class. Would I should know. Stronger. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> Which would be Not great because then it would be easier for Scotty to use them to open his beer bottle. Yeah, it's harder when... Did you just pick your nose? Maybe. I'm me! I'm me! I had a booger, okay? There's. Bucker you're gross. Biblical Legal adult. Album. Wow. Legal adult. What biblical album title would be appropriate for a Kesha album featuring what? different versions of her song, Blah Blah Blah? Pillar of Salt, Jonah and the Whale, The Tower of Babel, or Birth of Jesus? That's Pilar of Salt. What? I don't know Bible stuff. I don't get at all. I'm not. I, I didn't know Bibles have album How titles. Much time no left? Bible. What are you talking about? What biblical album? Uh, if you, I have you just no want idea. to watch TV, that's cool. In the meantime, the Tower of Babel is a story in the Book of Genesis don't, where God no, confused don't, the no, language don't care, of all the humans don't, so no, they could no care, longer understand no. each other. I was really looking forward to listening to that. Thing is, I speak English, oh, Babel? And I still have no yeah, idea like babbling. Oh, like blah blah blah. blah. You're babbling. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that was the right explanation. But... Oh, no, Here's what's going on. Undead anatomy. Over here. Which of these movie monsters is truly heartless? The mummy dress. Oops. God oh, damn it! I hate this remote because if I accidentally bump it, a mummy's organs Duh. are removed and placed in jars. Fucking a! I didn't mean to screw you. The mummy would not have a heart. <laughs> Accidental <laughs> rape. Accidentally. Though mummification was perfected over thousands <laughs> Accidental of years, the Egyptians <laughs> That's what is lovely. Because, like, last time I leaned my head on the controller, and this time I threw my controller down. Well, quit leaning on it. News. It's too sensitive of a button! Nah, you got screwed. They should have made it, like, something that all got stabbed. It's my back, girl! Or why didn't they make it Take all a stab one? at... Your hair smells like blackberry, oh, and it's a dis or dat. Woo! I get to play. I get Player to play. Now, say I never gave you anything. Play this dis or dat and try to improve your score. I'm gonna read off seven <laughs> phrases. Tell me if it's what? a feature of the Nexus One phone. A feature of Nexus. Really? Food. <laughs> Why do I get the fucking <laughs> hard ones? Nexus phone. So and phone or shampoo? Button. If it's about Nexus oh, shampoo, the game was really so press your circle ago. button. Right, so. And if you think it's both, uh, press the X button. Oh, and you get a both. Oh my god, every time I play, what do you mean? always get screwed. It was just ah, released, you're what are you talking about? Like, Perfect. since this game's fairly new, they have new references. Anti-breakage system. Digital compass. 
Body control. Noise cancellation. 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio. Heat protection. Not tested on animals. Whatever. Oh, okay. For those, I didn't even know I'm okay those. with the four. Oh, you didn't steal any? No. I had no idea. All this talk of phones and shampoo reminds me I need to go to the beach and make an appointment they. for permanent. Oh yeah, we're looking for vampires and hot veins. Finished round one. Veins. And vampires and hot. I wasn't that Joey. Yeah, I kept them vampires. He's got a two on his head. And don't forget. Oh, okay. Blood count. Oh. Ah. Ready? Too bad. Stop jiggling your cough. <laughs> I'm jiggling my cough. Why do you care if I jiggle my cup? It's awkward, and I see it in my peripherals. Where the banshees live, and they do live well. How tall is the tallest stone at Stonehenge? I don't fucking know. Two stones high, three just stones high, four armor stones high, or five. I'm gonna screw you though. Fuck you. Screwed. You got five seconds. You're screwed. So how many people tall? Like. Damn, that Oops. time just flew by. I forgot to wow. click. <laughs> Way to screw what player would you one. Have I'm not saying. Grab uh. a few more bucks, why don't you? you player one. Oliver I Stone is five. six feet tall. The tallest stone at Stonehenge yes. is about 24 feet tall. Oh, so you can stack four God. Oliver Stones on top of each other to reach five. that height. <laughs> So I still would have got it wrong. Fuck me, I hate this. Like, top of each other. no, I wish we had stone. those scores from before. Oh, be more oh so we're actually even now. Oh, what a Christ, saw. I Here's raped a good one. you in the first four yeah, episodes you did. that nobody gets to see, so they all think I'm crazy. How many packages would you end up with? 12, 42, 78, or 144? Oh god. Player two? I see what you did there. Twelve times twelve. And here's your lump of coal. Yeah, that's not... Player one. <laughs> one plus two plus three oh, plus four. Oh shut plus up. Five no, plus six I'm plus leaving. Seven, what? Plus nine, what? Plus nine, <laughs> Fuck plus 11, you. Plus 12, <laughs> 12 times 12. Come on. It made sense appears. in my brain. Yeah, it sense they do twelve every single yeah, time. Am I going to invest in a large <laughs> mallet? <laughs> The Lords of Leaping are a lot easier. Clearly, I'm tired. Like, when we were playing at 7, <laughs> I was good. Now that we're playing at 10.30 at night... <laughs> goodness. It's like you can play with one hand. Who said this, more or less? <laughs> it's time for a who said it question. Oh, Chad, our production who said assistant, it? will hand me a piece of paper with a famous quote and... Wait, you need that now? Yeah. Didn't get the email? I told you, man. For business-related stuff, you gotta message me on Facebook. So you don't have the quote? No, but I remember it, I think. Well, let me take a stab at it. Oh, so they're gonna be misquoted <laughs> okay. things? Okay, said, uh, Chad? Um, if you poke my eye out, then, um, I poke out yours, then the whole world isn't gonna see anything that well, I guess? Abraham Lincoln, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., or Mother... Players one and two? Oh, wait, yeah. I found the quote. An eye for an eye. Yep. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. And that was said by Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah. Hey. Didn't really know, now. but it made the most sense. You didn't know this Gandhi guy on Twitter. No. Thanks for your help, That's Chad. Classic Gandhi. I don't read Gandhi. Classic Gandhi. <laughs> no! I'm gonna nine. Of donkeys. Barrel of donkeys. Which element of the classic arcade game Donkey Kong does not represent a simple machine? The stack of barrels, the slanted girder ramps, Jumpman's hammer, or Donkey Kong's elevators? Wait, what? I don't get it. Players one and two. Haven't you ever heard of a pulley? Well, apparently you're not as intelligent as an 8-bit ape. Oh, yeah. Let me show you something. The ramps are inclined planes, the hammer is a lever, and the elevators are pulleys. But Donkey Kong's barrel stack just sits there and it's not any kind of simple machine. Uh, oh, I've always wondered machine. what's in those barrels. Duh. I'm guessing thousands Elevator of is a machine. princess torsos. Yeah, I think oh. I never that is
No! Coming up. <laughs> bed. This is the part bed. of the game where I start to I'm feel like I need so a bad. snack. Yeah, I'm doing so bad. Maybe I'll have a fortune cookie. Oh, uh, fortune cookie time. What? Cookie fortune cookie fortune with that fortune cookie cookie. Mm. Well, if I'm so friggin' magnetic, who's most attracted to me? Iron Man, Gold Member, the Tin Man, or the Silver Surfer? Fuck! Wow, I No, I'm wrong. Uh, God damn it, I'm wrong. <laughs> Player two? It's Iron Man. Oil can! No, yeah, it's Player Iron one. Man. <laughs> Magnets barely attract gold or silver and mostly know with tin, but they sure do love iron. <laughs> Why'd you say tin, man? I don't know! I'm frazzled now that I'm doing so bad. I'm not even possibly gonna win this. Hey, we should check out our uh, scores after this. No, bullshit. Like, no. Add in my Nelly, too, and you'll see. Do we know you'd be good in the pre tape, but it's. Whatever. Bullshit! Okay, we're going now. Bullshit! Yeah, you. Spooked me all night long. I'm the ghost? Spooky back. Oh, wow. we didn't get the blood answer. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. Scrooge. Watch that. <laughs> it was the ghost of Christmas past, wasn't it? Ichabod. <laughs> what the? What's an Ichabod? <laughs> We, we've worked really dumb on these lately. <laughs> I was so good earlier. Okay, this one. Oh, <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it said something else. I don't know any of these. Why does Patrick Swayze keep going by? I'm really... That's so... I don't know any of these. I'm crying a little. Uh oh. I have... Oh. What?! Scar's not dead. Oh, yeah. Mufasa's dead. I'm... done. You got Slimer. Oh, I threw... <laughs> what the what? fuck? I threw my control down and I caught the right answer, apparently. Wow. Really? Scrooge, it's the ghost of Christmas past. It's about Cray. <laughs> Stank you. <laughs> Stank you. Stank you the ghost. I think that's the name of this episode. Stank you the ghost. Stank you the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Cole Stank? I don't know any of these people. <laughs> Whatever. I'm. My record's gonna be horrible now. Well, we're tied. Fuck you, cunt. Oh yeah, we are tied. Yeah, three to three. Whatever. I got a prize. <laughs> How many prizes you have? Wow! Sun cake sweep. That's gonna kill <laughs> my kill. No, Jack. No, my... Nice work, oh. folks. At least we're tied 4-4. Four to four. Go. All that matters is the overall stance. We are tied at 3 apiece. I'm Nick there, no, and I'm not here to sell you dumbass. anything. Oh. I used my own money to buy some advertising three episodes, time to let the world know that I hate games Japanese. an episode. This isn't a tricky oh, yeah. sales ploy or a joke. Yeah. Shut up. Let's see our money totals. I thought we did four. Anything else for you tonight? I don't want to see oh, my wait, money totals. I'm smarter than you now. You really tanked the last one. 12,000 a game. 6,000. Wow. Wait, what's your total? 70 something? Your total is 38,000. 72,000. Oh my god. But all that matters is the game stand, and we are tied at 3, three. apiece. Alright, Team Sandcake, <laughs> well, got us a couple wins, and we're tied up. Boo! All yeah, to everyone that left. All of you that bandwagon to Team Nelly, you feel silly now, huh? Well, my brain past like 9 o'clock at night is off. Alright, next time we'll. Let's see, what episode are we doing? Get you guys excited? We're gonna do Country Charm Indoor Outhouses. Okay! And the Girly Drink Supply Warehouse. Ha! Ah! Alright, until next time, take it easy, Jews. Later, ho. I know you're all going to launch together without me, okay? Am I that unpleasant to have. <laughs> what the fuck was that?